Alan in Willowbrook has a ventilation question for his attic. Well, okay, one of his attics is connected to the bedroom, and it builds up a lot of heat. Got it. You got that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry. I can't talk without my hands. <laughs> it's okay. And my old sales guy and me can't do it without a pen in my hand <laughs> either, in case you're wondering why. All right, so he says, Alan writes to us, heat is escaping through the bedroom since there's no attic, insul- uh, attic ventilation up there. I'm having radiant barrier foil installed and gable vents installed on each side of the attic, and I'll also have some roof vents installed as the heat will build up between the foil and the roof. Got the I'm picture. D- I'm just teeing this up for you. Got I the have picture. I know where you're going with this after 20 plus years sitting next to you. Mm-hmm. Alan wants to know: Do I get just one vent or two vents, intake and exhaust? We always have to have intake and exhaust. Right. Uh, there's no doubt about it. The gable vents, I question. Here's a couple of details. I love the radiant barrier. Do it. Uh, Make sure there's plenty of insulation in there. Do that. Attic ventilation is not going to cool the area down. All it's going to do is get rid of the moisture, and that's what you want it to do. If you have a way to put a ridge vent and soffit vents in those two little areas, I would tell you to do that. If you can't, then just an attic vent on top, maybe an air hawk, which would be a square slant backed vent that's a passive vent would be fine. But the thing about the foil, you're not creating a space between the foil and in the rafters that's going to be separate from the rest of the attic. You want to make sure that the whole attic is going to the same vent. So don't think of it as two different spaces. If they can, if they put the foil up, make sure they leave some space by the vent where all the air from inside, from one side, the, the bottom side and the top side of the of the uh, foil will be able to have the same ventilation system because that's what you want to do but i think you'll find with the radiant barrier it's going to be a ton difference so you're doing the right thing with the radiant barrier huge difference yes um so what he's going to be creating with this foil time just so i understand is under the roof joists or rafters? Rafters. Rafters, right. Joists go this way, rafters go that way, right? Right. Rafters. Okay. <laughs> All right. So whatever. <laughs> yes. He's going to, when he puts that foil across them. What they're planning on doing it's is It's going to create them. almost like a duct coming up through behind there, right? Well, there's there's this old th- uh, theory that if you put the foil on the bottom of the rafters and create this sealed space, the th- thickness of the rafters, that that's what you're supposed to do, and you're not supposed okay, to do that. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. Right. So it's got to be one big area. You leave openings. And so the, the air from all sides of the attic or the foil can get out that vent. So that's what you're looking to do. So, so they leave a space along the bottom, along the top. Or, Is that right? Or just cut a hole. If there's a if there's a attic vent, you can just cut a hole right there in the foil. Okay. So you have a hole that's directly underneath okay. that vent. All right. But you got to have vent access to the vent. Just trying to be. <sighs> I'm getting tongue-tied on this one. <laughs> about that? Tune in again next time. Get to see if Tom can untie this. <laughs> yes. Find out by looking at more of our answer videos at homeshowradio.com under the Ask Tom tab.